Kelso, you received all the discovery and did you review it with your client? Yes, Your Honor. Court will find that the state is in compliance with discovery. Mr. Camacho, I'm showing you what's entitled application for deferred adjudication or community supervision. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? You need to speak up. Did you understand you're charged with the offense a possession of a controlled substance penalty group one, one gram to four grams. That's a third degree felony. The range of punishment is anywhere from two to 10 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine. Did you understand? Yes. Counsel, has your client been able to provide you with any defenses? Yes, Your Honor. Do you believe he has a rational as well as a factual understanding of the charges against him? Yes, Your Honor. We'll find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived his right to jury trial. Showing you the plea bargain page. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, Your Honor. According to the plea, punishment is to be assessed at four years in the prison. There's a thousand dollar fine. State recommends community supervision. Did you understand that to be the plea? Yes. Defense? Yes, sure. State. Yes. Next, I'm showing you outside the plea bargain agreement. State is requesting that your community supervision be for a term of four years. There'll be a top evaluation, the community service hours, restitution. Did you understand those are requests from the state and the court does not have to follow those requests? Yes, Your Honor. Then to the offenses charged, how do you plead? Guilty, not guilty, or no contest? No contest. State any evidence? The state offers state's exhibit one and all attachments. We reviewed state's exhibit one with our client, Your Honor. We have no objections. Court will find that the defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived and consented to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Court will accept into evidence state's exhibits one and attachments and review the same. After reviewing state's exhibits one and attachments, the court will find there's sufficient evidence to find you guilty. The court will find you guilty. Are we proceeding with sentencing? Yes, Your Honor. I believe it's in his best interest. He has been incarcerated. We'd like to get back. We, he's in need of some medical treatment. What medical treatment? Um, Your Honor, well, to respect, um, I have suffered from esophagus varices. What that means is I have a balloon on my liver. And if it's not medical treatment, I can. Then why are you doing drugs? So you come to me and you say you have medical treatment, uh -huh. and but you're using meth. How does that help you with your medical treatment when you're it using drugs? Matter. All right. Do you have any children? I have one son. What is his age? 21. Who are you living with? Um, right now I'm staying with my mom. Does your mom want you living with her? Yes, ma'am. How old are you? I'm 36 years old. Okay. And are you uh, gang affiliated? Have you been gang affiliated? Uh -huh. What's up with all this tattoo business? It's, it's something that I like. Me and my brother, we always, since we were little kids, we were, we were born here in San Antonio, but we were raised in Cali. So it's just part of our Raised nation, where? In California. Mm -hmm. It's always been in our, you know, having. All right. Court is going to sentence you to four years in prison, suspended and probated for four years. That's a thousand dollar fine. That's to be probated. I want a gang evaluation done on him. Uh, I'm going to want a tap evaluation that can be done out of custody since he has these medical issues. If you miss any of these appointments, you will be taken into custody. Do you understand? Uh, we'll do a referral to felony drug court. Proof of employment or SSI within 30 days, there's to be no employment as a home health care provider with minors. There's to be regular reporting by Zoom or in person, regular UAs, field visits, one time per month. Uh, probation, if, it, um, if he's gang affiliated, then we'll turn it over to the gang supervision and they can see him as often as they feel they need to see him. Um, I'm going to want 90 meetings in 90 days. Probation, is there anything else he needs? Oh, no, Your Honor. I'm sorry, 200 hours of community service restitution. Is there anything else you need from the court to be successful? I'm sorry. Thank you. Thanks. Bye -bye. All right, we can go off the record. You're going to have to do better. And when you go stay at your mom's house, you are not an adult. So that means you need to follow her rules. You need to keep her house clean. Do you understand? Yes, Your Honor. That means that you do not bring anyone over to her house without her permission because you are not an adult. You're living with your mom. All right. Good luck to you. Thank you. Can our parties announce for the record, please, for the state? Hank Wilkins, state. For the defense? I'm here, Memorial, Your Honor. And are you Guillermo Camacho? Yes, ma'am. All right, Mr. Camacho, I'm going to show you what's entitled motion to revoke community supervision. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes. 
Are you the same Guillermo Camancha who was placed on community supervision in 2022, CR 6642, for the offense of possession of a controlled substance penalty group one, one gram to four grams on May 1st, 2023, for a term of four years? Is that you? Yes, ma'am. All right, state. Uh, Your Honor, it's Daniel Escobar for the state of Texas. Uh, it's violated condition number four in Bear County, Texas. The defendant, Guillermo Camacho, the defendant mayor, failed to report to the supervision officer as director for the months of June and July 2023 in violation of condition number four. How do you plead to that? True or not true? That's true, ma'am. Uh, right. Did you understand by pleading true to violation of condition number four, the court could find it true, grant the motion, and sentence you to four years in prison and up to a $1,000 fine? Yes, ma'am. Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number four? Yes, ma'am. Court will find violation of condition number four true. Is there a proposed agreement? Uh, no, Your Honor. There is a state recommendation and a defense recommendation. All right, state, what are you recommending? Uh, Your Honor, we're recommending a drug court evaluation in custody. And if he's not accepted into the drug court program, then state ISF cognitive tract treatment. All right, defense, what are you requesting? Judge, in this case, Mr. Camacho attempted to um, contact his probation officer, but wasn't able. And then he ran into some health issues with his mother judge. And as the court is very well aware, these issues snowball. And once they know that there's a warrant, they don't report. Mr. Camacho also uh, has, has expressed regret in this, he accepts responsibility of the judge. We're asking for intensive outpatient treatment program with a zero tolerance, Your Honor. Yes. All right, so our, outpatient treatment is off the table. All right, uh, so we're at the point of, Mr. Camacho, I want you to hear me. We're at the point of whether or not I'm going to revoke you or not. You understand? Right. Because I know that I tell everybody if there's an issue with probation, they can always come to the court and address that. The not reporting <laughs> is an issue. Probation, what are you requesting? I request the drug court evaluation in custody, and if not, and a tap in custody. And um, at that point, we can, depending on the results, bring them back to court or state ISF. All right. And is there something you would like to say? Um, I, I know you I want can't. to raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth? So help you God. Yes, ma'am. All right, you can lower your hand. State your name for the record. Guillermo Camacho. All right, what would you like to say? I would just like to say that I, I tried calling my probation officer. My mom, till this day, till right now, she's very sick and she's she's still in Mexico. All I beg for you, I know I can finish this program and pro if, if so. Did you go to Mexico? No, my mom, but. I know I messed up, but I'm here in front of you, ma'am. I know I can finish this if if granted, but I don't need. I don't think I have a problem to go to a program. I just said I don't. You have a problem know. with not reporting. The only thing, yes, I understand that, but I'm asking you. I do respect, ma'am. I can finish this, and I'm here in front of you. I can do this, and you know, that was the only mistake I I made. No, those were choices you made. Exactly. And, you know, consequences come with the choices I make, you mm -hmm. know, and, and I'm here and I'm being very, just very polite with you. So this is what I want you to understand. You are placed on probation May 2023. Right. I gave you conditions May 2023. I know that I asked you if there was anything else you needed from the court. If there was, I would have gave it to you. And based upon the conditions that I set for you were based upon what you told me, right? Yeah. And I know that I told you to do 90 sober meetings in 90 days because there was an issue. Yes, ma'am. So what did you do? May, I placed you on probation, right? Then according to the violation that you placed, just played true to, you get out of custody and June... 2023, no reporting. July 2023, no reporting. So when and where were you arrested? Or did you turn yourself in? No, they went and picked me up. From where? From a couple of streets where I live from. I wasn't hiding. Mm -hmm. Okay. I wasn't hiding, man. I'm just like, I know I can do this. And I'm looking at you straight in the eye. Give me a chance, man. Please. Oh, I am going to give you a chance. Please. I'm not going to revoke you unless you want to be revoked, oh, but I'm going to give you some choices. Okay. 
So are there any questions before I give him his choices? Okay. Here we go. All right, here are your choices. Your underlying sentence is four years prison. I'm going to give you a choice. You can either be continued on probation. You're going to remain in custody for a drug court evaluation. Drug court is very quick. Your evaluation will probably take place this week. If they have room for you, they'll probably place you in their program. If they don't have room for you, they're not going to place you in the program. Or you're going to go to ISF. Or if you want, I can revoke you, give you three years. You do your three years, you'll be done. You'll probably be out before the three years are up. That's the one thing that you can listen. I used to always tell my clients, please do not listen to inmates at the jail because they're not attorneys. But one thing inmates at the jail can tell you that is true. They can tell you when they're catching chain to go to prison or wherever they're going. And they can tell you how much time people are actually doing at the prison. Those are two things you can trust that inmates tell you. Everything else, I went to the law library and this is what I did. No, but those two things normally were true. So which would you prefer? I can continue you. You're going to go to custody. You're going to remain in custody to your review for felony drug court. Felony drug court will probably see you this week, make a decision on you this week. If they decide they don't have room or if that you're not a good candidate for that, then you're going to ISF or you can go to prison for three years. Which would you prefer? Drug court. All right. This is what I'll do. Then I'll deny the motion. Alternate man conditions. to include a referral to felony drug court. If not accepted, uh, then ISF cognitive. And did you do the 90 sober meetings? So what have you done on probation? Worried about my mother. No, so that means you've done nothing on probation, right? Yeah. And let me just tell you, you say you're worried about your mom, yes, ma but not doing your probation is making her worry. Now she's worried probably about whether her son is going to prison. You understand? So it's going to be uh, ISF cognitive if not accepted into felony drug court. And this is to take place in custody. Is there anything else that you need from this court to be successful on this probation? That's it. Is there anything that you do not understand? I understand everything, man. All right. And probation, did you all have a chance to do the gang evaluation? No, you're not. All I right. never went to my house, man. Like, like you, you, you remember you, you had put, hmm? you had said that the gang evaluation, they never went to the house too. They need a good address. All right. So they address. need an address. No, well, you, you she'll be able to get it from you. But okay. here's the thing. You are on probation. You got to be proactive, right? It's the same thing when you're trying to get a job, when people sit around and saying, what I put in my application, I'm waiting for them to call me. You need to pick up the phone and call somebody. And all you had to do if probation wasn't contacting you was walk into this courtroom and say, hey, I've been trying to get in touch with probation. There's a probation officer right there. And you know what I would have done? I would have said, let's pick up the phone and call that probation officer. Problem solved. But instead, what did you do? You didn't report for two months. Basically, you haven't reported since May of 2023. And here we are in 2024. Yes, You're going to have to do better. You're looking at four years in prison. You understand? Yes, ma'am. All right. Good luck to you. Anything else you need from the court? Thank you. So wait a minute. I want this on the record. If there's an issue with probation and you feel like they're not addressing it, you can come to the court. You understand? Yes, ma'am. All right. Good luck to you. Thank you. All right, this is a motion to revoke. Are you all ready? We are. All right, can I have a file stamp for a motion to revoke, please? Thank you. Court is calling 2022 CR 6642 State of Texas versus Guillermo Camacho. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Welcome to State of Texas. Defense. Kathy Compton for Mr. Camacho. And are you Mr. Camacho? Yes, ma'am. Did you review the document entitled Motion to Revoke Community Supervision with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. Are you the same Guillermo Camacho who was placed on community supervision in 2022 CR 6642 for the offense of possession of controlled substance penalty group one 
one gram to four grams on May 1st, 2023 for a term of four years. Is that you? All right, state. Violating condition number 41 on or about the fifth day of February, 2024 in Bear County, Texas, the defendant, Guillermo Camacho, who then and there failed to comply with the rules, regulations, or instructions of felony drug court in that the defendant absconded from lifetime recovery treatment center in violation of condition number 41. How do you plead to that? True or not true? Uh, your Honor, state weighs all the violations. All right, did you understand by pleading true to violation of condition number 41, the court could find it true, grant the motion, and sentence you to four years in prison and up to a thousand dollar fine? Yes, sir. Knowing that, do you wish still wish to plead true to violation of condition number 41? The court will find violation of condition number 41 true. Is there a proposed agreement? Uh, there is, Judge. It's state ISF substance abuse track followed by ISP and moral recognition therapy. All right. And this is what you are requesting from the court? Yes, Your Honor. I, it, it's what my client wants and what he believes that he needs. Um, and the recommendation of the community supervision department, I believe, notes that in their their recommendation for ISF is that he, he just needs uh, a structured environment because that he, he was not able to comply with the last structured environment. All right. Uh, the court is going to grant the motion, revoke you, sentence you to four years in the prison, give you credit for any time served, and request the therapeutic community. Did you review the document entitled Trial Court Certification of Defendant's Rights to Appeal with your attorney? Did you understand it and sign it? All right. You do have a limited right to appeal. That right to appeal is as it relates to the allegations in the motion not the fact that you were on community supervision. Do you understand? All right, we can go off the record. Here's the thing. Felony drug court is a good program. They put you in lifetime recovery. You left lifetime recovery. Yes, sir. And this is not your first motion to revoke with the court. You understand? Yes, sir. All right, so you had better be serious about getting clean and sober. Otherwise, you're gonna be back here for the same thing. Do you understand? Yes, sir. All right, good luck to you, okay? Thank you, Judge. You're welcome.